Hey guys, so I'm standing here in front of the little off-grid cabin. You can hear the baby goats in the background and we've been filming out in the garden all day. And what I wanted to talk about was bugs. At least in this area, the temperature is gonna be up and down a little bit for the next few weeks, but then we're gonna to start to have mosquitoes. Even though we're in a high, dry desert, ducks. We have irrigation water and over on the other side we have dry beds that can get a little bit boggy. So we do have problems with mosquitoes. We also have some interesting things that run around in the grass uh, like spiders and that kind of thing. So when I'm out working I like to put something around my ankles and my, around my wrists. Usually I wear long sleeve shirts, long pants with socks and boots. I don't wear a lot of shorts when I'm working. But this one has, what is it called? Mm, it smells so good. It is um, an essential oil blend that is a little bit greasy. It kind of stays on my wrist really nice. And you can use essential oils. Some people like to use, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's one you put out for mosquitoes at night. Um, we just did a video over on our Facebook Live on a soap that you can use as a bug deterrent. Catherine just made it and she added the essential oil to her soap so that it's you know, in the soap that you're using on your skin. I'm sensitive enough that I like to have it in something that's more oil based. What I have found that I really enjoy is the homesteadmama.org. She has what's called a bug bar and what she has in it is uh, organic beeswax, organic mango butter, distilled essential oils of citronella and lavender, organic coconut and safflower oils. And with this one, it smells heavenly. It's a pretty big bar, but I really like the smell of citronella. And um, it does, you know, if you have allergies to more harsh chemicals, these are good solutions. The other thing that I wear is a bug shirt. It has a hood that goes over the top that is, is a, a mesh and the same in the armpits, but it keeps anything that bites from biting you. So if you're as sensitive as I am this time of year and you, you would rather avoid things that have a lot of chemicals in them, things like this are really nice. And I think that's what is in this one is a citronella too. This one is one I've used a long time and it smells so good. It smells, to me, it smells like rose and citronella, which probably most people would think is not a good combination, but I really like it. If you wanna make your own, there is a, uh, what is it called? There is like a lotion bar, which is what these are. These are lotion bars inside like a deodorant tin. In Dining on a Dime, Tara has a recipe for a lotion bar that you can add your own essential oils to and make yourself something like this. I, these can be kind of pricey. They're very good ingredients. They can be pricey if you don't have the money to do them. Um, you can order these little containers yourself if you have a good recipe. So, um, <laughs> what are you guys doing? What you doing, baby? So hopefully that was helpful. The recipe is in Dining on a Dime. We'll put it in the link in the description below. And um, if you want somebody else to make it for you, the bug out bar is really good from the homesteadmama.org. We also have a link for that in the description below. If you want to make your own, uh, Essential Depot is where we get our supplies, again in the description below. So we do like to make our own products, but sometimes I purchase them too. Hopefully the information is valuable to you and we will talk to you later. I will also put the link to the bug shirt. We do not affiliate with them. I would love to affiliate with them because I think it's a high quality product. People that are in Alaska during the mosquito seasons swear by them because they get hordes of mosquitoes, enough that they can make you sick. And the bug shirt works really well. They also have, and, and the bug shirt works really well. They also have trousers that you can get that will help um, keep bugs off. But I never use those. I always just use jeans because um, I'm kind of cheap and the bug shirt was pretty expensive. When I bought it, 12 years ago, I think it cost me like $50, which felt like a lot. But again, I've had them for 12 years and they work really well. So hopefully that was helpful and we'll talk to you later.